Hello, welcome to the sideboard one last time here at the Star City Games team open in Philadelphia. Part of the SCG tour brought to you by Ultimate Garden Carnox Chairs. I'm Nick Miller alongside our now champions here, John Rossum, Matt Dilks, Daryl Arrows. This is uh, a couple of trophies for Mr. Rossum here. Third or second for Daryl. Second, yeah. First one for Matt though. This year, you destroyed season one. Modern was the name of the game. Amulet did it all. But you guys came up short. A bunch of team events, a bunch of individual events. So you get the job done today. How's it feel? Uh, pretty good. I guess it's lucky number 10. This is my 10th total top eight and eighth this year. So it's pretty sweet to finally close, I guess. Was a, a closing match. You know, we cut two guys in game three of a pretty crazy match there. You had a ton of innovation going on with your list this week. Talk about your deck and then uh, that, that game in particular. Uh, so basically with Amulet, the two printings uh, from the new set were Once Upon Time and uh, Green Castle. And uh, Once Upon Time is kind of like a, a filler card, card like we've uh, played before, like Oath of Nyssa or whatever. Um, but it's a little bit more powerful. Look at top five tribal as the deck is kind of now. <laughs> and uh, Castle kind of occupies this role of a few different things. It's like ramp, it's untapped bounce land. It does like a, a lot of a lot of things, like a, a, lot, a lot of little things well, and together makes a pretty powerful slot in the deck. Um, that, uh, that Urza deck is pretty scary, but uh, they can't beat Titan. They can't. <laughs> the first Titan gets blue packed and it's all over. Yeah. <laughs> what was uh, going through your minds when they started having to spin the Urza there? Uh, that I was going to 100% lose to some lucky... I couldn't watch. <laughs> I just couldn't watch. I turned my seat around and just lucky could not watch. I, I, I felt like we were like a hard log. It, <laughs> you have to get so lucky. Like His first spin was really good, but he had to hit a PO. Like He had to basically hit perfects, because if he had anything, he would have played it already. Yeah. Ugh. I could. Oh, sorry. I, just, I couldn't even watch that game because he mulled the five, and his, he like his five was like breeding pool, castle, amulet, pack negation, uh, Azusa. He drew summoner's pack. Like that's a good draw step. Drew Titan. That's a bad draw step. Drew Titan. That's a bad draw step. On the last possible turn, just like Simic or Chamber off the top. I'm like, oh my god, we have a game. So. Yeah, that, that's another game too because we only had two. We only had two mana in play, and then when we drew the Simic Growth Chamber, we got to play it with Azusa, and then you got, we got to play it twice and activate Castle. So it's like a, that's another game where Castle. Will accelerate us by one without having to be it, while being an untapped source for like stuff like Amulet or Scout or Ancient Stirrings. Plus, you had Fuel of the Dead going on in your deck. <laughs> Speaking of which, John, Golos was everything this weekend. Yeah. You played, I, I have to imagine, double digit mirrors. At some I think, I, think I ended the weekend that. Oh, I played three mirrors in top eight, so yeah, I think I ended at 11. And how did you do? Uh, I lost one. I went to game three of a lot of them. <laughs> and we, it didn't, I, there was only one that ended in an unintentional draw, but that draw locked us for top eight anyways. But there's a lot of game threes undecided, so. A lot of games going to time. This is the mm -hmm. longest tournament we've had this year by a long shot. You were the, the deciding match there. Your opening had had hand had Kenrith. Was that yep. basically the deciding factor? I, I looked at my hand and it was four lands, Kenrith, mm -hmm. Oko, uh, Beanstalk Giant. I'm like, I'm just going to play as Kenrith on turn four and roll with it. And then I found two Agent of Treacheries and he had like a really good start of he went turn four f uh, fires into Securitas Route, which is like what you could ask for. And uh, he next turn like played like another spell and cast Agent and I veiled it and then I drew a card and I only had six mana. I drew a tap land and then I drew Securitas Route. Could not cast Agent on fires and I thought that was just a deciding game, but turn after I just cast double agent and it was it just took over. A fitting in stealing the fires of invention. Yeah. Uh, the two Lotus Box decks dominated the weekend yeah. in the standard seat. To win with their own fires mm -hmm. uh, is pretty telling. Yeah, I, yeah. Agent of Treachery, card of the weekend. It just messed up in all the mirrors. And I saw his sideboard and I only had two agents. He already saw both of them. He had no veils, so I was like, I just had free free reign the rest of the game. So Daryl, uh Finals didn't go your way, but your deck that you won the PTQ with was basically the deck of the tournament in Legacy. So many people were playing yeah. it. You know, you've made a massive impact on the format. You know, once again, uh, it seems like any time your Delver deck has an ape in it, you 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 come out with a trophy. Yeah, I do a lot of monkeying around, but <laughs> yeah, a couple weeks ago at a GP Atlanta, I won one of the PTQs playing like 72 of the same cards or so, and then. People started testing like a lot of the 
a lot of like my friends and acquaintances started testing it and just kind of crushing and we're like I think this deck is great like stifle seems to be like in a really really sweet spot right now where do, where do you go from uh, from now do you just stay with this or uh, I'll, fi I'll figure that out for the next legacy tournament we've got a few months we're awesome standard where does it go from now how do you honestly build your Golo stack to be the best deck? Now? You just play the Fires one. I think that's just the way you do it. That's just the best deck in all the mirrors. I I had like I thought I had no chance in game one, but he just drew really really bad, and I got to answer a. Um, I didn't really. He had, basically had a Fires in play the whole game, but I was able to answer basically everything else, and I got to use my one Fey of Wishes to get in the gate, so I could just counter any spell he got of his sideboard, and then I won the game with two Beanstalk Giants and the Giant Wrath on the stack. Just attack for twenty six. Dilks, Ayers, uh, you and you two, along with Edgar, made a lot of top eights, but you just couldn't seem to get there in the end. Pick up Rossum, upgrade, downgrade? Uh, maybe, maybe side grade, I'm not sure. Oh, damn. Like, Rossum, oh, yeah. Rossum seems to close. This is a second trophy already. I think Edgar's sitting on a hard zero. <laughs> so that's definitely an upgrade there. But I'm not sure. We'll, we'll, me and me and Matthew will have a little tribunal and see who we can pick up. <laughs> <laughs> Running joke all weekend was this was 2018 Rossum. Uh, yeah. You played very well this weekend. Thank you. You guys took down the trophies. Congratulations once again, John, Matt, Daryl. Any closing shout outs? Yeah, I would like to give a few. Um, I want to shout out uh, my amazing Lotus Box teammates. Um, all of them, you don't need to name all of them, there's eight of us, but they all know who I'm talking about. They're all great. Um, the one person I worked pretty ex close extensively with this weekend was Edgar. Edgar and I played basically the same 75, all spells included, and uh, without him, I probably would not have learned some of the things I did about the mirror or used anything. And another person I would like to thank is is uh, my really good friend Oliver. Um, he helps me, like, uh, he really, he fixed my mana base in such a way where I think it was just way better. I had a lot, I think Eggers was good, but I had a lot more on tap plans, and he's been a really good friend to me and really supportive of when I've been losing, so appreciate him. Peter, are you? Uh, I think we want to probably thank everyone that's not here from our our hangouts. We it makes magic fun. Like we we talk literally every day and goof around. Like uh, I'm not really a fan of the grind and everything, but hanging out with those people and talking to them every day is what makes it fun. Uh, I actually wasn't going to come to this. I was going to play in the online mocks, <laughs> and like two weeks ago, I decided to come because of uh, for placement for buys for next year. So I'd like to shout out myself for coming, <laughs> and then I'd also like to shout out myself for having a sweet legacy deck that nice. a lot of people played. <laughs> well done. You get all the shout outs you need. You guys are the champions. Yeah. Congrats again. We're going to send it back to Matthias and Emma to close it out here in Philadelphia. Yeah.